What's up, gun enthusiast? Greg Rowe, Rowe Show Tactical. Today, I'm going to start a series that I'm going to call Things I Don't Understand in the Gun Community. And today's first topic is going to be bedazzling your gun. This, now, I'm, I'm seeing this become more and more a trend, especially on, on, on online gun, gun communities. Uh, that's people, you know, painting their guns to, you know, look like Nintendo uh, zappers, um, guns that look like, that, you know, they're from Star Wars. Uh, guys camo, you know, putting camo on all of their guns, um, adding threaded barrels that are like, you know, metallic colors and, or, you know, mag releases that are, you know, red or a, 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 like a hive mag extension that's, you know, magenta and then, or having, you know, $500 worth of work done to a slide when your gun didn't even cost 500 bucks. These are things I, I don't, I, I honestly, I don't understand. It, I do not understand these fads. I, I don't. I don't get it. I don't understand it any more than just that it's possibly people with you know too much money on their hands, or you know they care more about looking at their gun like on the shelf, or maybe they walk around and, and hold their gun and play with their gun in the house or something. Maybe that's why they're doing it. I don't cause, because I don't understand. To me, a gun's a tool. And a gun is going to get marked up. A gun's going to get beat up. Um, it's just, it's a gun. It's a tool. I don't, I don't understand, you know, drop, dropping $1,200 into a $450 to $500 gun. I, I don't get it. it especially when it, it's not going to make it shoot any better. I mean, either you can shoot or you, or you can't. And, and the way you get to be a better shooter is by training. It's not by, you know, dropping $600 into your gun so that, you know, it looks like, the, the the taser gun from Buck Rogers. Uh, I, I I I just I don't understand this. Um, I and what I really when I when it's the worst is when I see people having these these tiny Glock 42s and Glock 43s and they put this threaded barrel on it that you know makes the gun five eighths of an inch bigger or three quarters of an inch bigger, you know, in length. And then they add this like Hive or Terran Tactical Plus 3 mag extension that makes it the same height as a Glock 19, maybe even a tad bit bigger, and you get half the rounds. I don't, I don't understand what the purpose of this is. And I, I haven't got any, any explanation except for, well, if you don't like it, or why are you hating on it? Like, I haven't got an answer as to why, it, why it, this is a fad. I, I, these are things I don't understand. I mean, there, there's always going to be a company out there that is going that is going to be willing to sell you something overpriced for your gun that you don't need. They're they're always going to be out there. Now, any any gun that that I've ever ordered, and people know I'm a Glock guy. The only thing I ever upgrade is the sights. Now, on the Glock 42, I did um, add a, a Terran Tactical um, plus one mag extension on that which is only an eighth of an inch bigger than the standard flat ma magazine that comes with it and I did that so I could get an extra round that's it I, I haven't upgraded the trigger I haven't had you know a different mag extension you know I haven't um, you know put a threaded barrel on there I haven't done any of that stuff because to me that gun especially is made and designed for a purpose it's made to be a highly concealable pocket pistol it's made to be a tiny pistol that's highly concealable and if you add all these gizmos and gadgets to it and you, and you make it three quarters of an inch longer and an inch and, and an inch higher in height you're, you're why didn't you just buy a Glock 19 it would have been a lot cheaper and you get and you get twice as many rounds See what I'm saying? I, I don't understand this. I, I, don't, I don't get it. You know, like I said, unless you're just in love with looking at your gun and it's an obsession for you to add crap to your gun and, and, and take pictures of it, you know, like I've noticed a lot of these guys too, their, their gun has its, has its own Facebook album. You know what I'm saying? Like they'll, they'll purposely drive to the beach um, and, and set it up on the coral with like the waves crashing up against it. And they're like, psst, 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 oh yeah, oh. Or they'll drive up to the mountains and they'll take it out and they'll set it in like a, ro a rotted log with some leaves around it, you know, and, t and take pictures of it. Here's my baby in the fall. You know, I don't, I don't understand. I don't understand what, what the point or what the purpose of this is. Because I, I guarantee... 
with, with, with my Glock 43 that I just put night sights on, I can shoot as good, if not better, than most of these guys that are adding $1,600 to their $500 gun. So, I don't understand. Maybe, maybe you watching this video can help me understand. But I, I don't understand it. You know, another thing that, 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 this, that I'm seeing is this trend is coloring the letters in on, on your gun. Why? Like, if Glock wanted them to come in white or red or blue or gold, they would have made them that way. I don't, I don't, I don't get that. Hey, man, how did y'all color in your letters on your Glock? How should I do it? I always write, don't. You know, if you want to take out your wife's makeup and put lipstick all over your gun... By all means, have at it. I'm not paying your bills, but I don't understand it. Simple as that. If you want to see your product reviewed on Rose Show Tactical, you can email me at roweshowtactical at yahoo.com. You can follow me on Twitter at Rose Show Tac. Check out the Facebook page, and just remember to keep shooting because you never know when the fight is going to come to your front door.